And good morning. It is 10 o'clock in my universe. In your universe, it might be a different time. But uh, this is Unhindered by Coding. We'll be here for two hours uh, doing more programming on the internet. Uh, so my name is Nick McPhee, and we're going to be working on... Well, hello, is it too? Always wonderful to see you. Um, I actually have a question that you might be able to answer, uh, which we'll get to in a second. So we'll be returning to the ice repos, Rust plus U uh, web app, um, refactoring uh, the state. Um, we managed to do, there were basically three pieces that need to be dealt with. We did one on Tuesday. We'll pick up with the second one today, which I think won't take too long. And then the more complicated third one, hopefully we'll get to start today. Otherwise, that'll be on Tuesday. Um, so uh, let me actually start with a question uh, because I have a, where am I? There I am. There is a clippy warning, wrong window, that I don't understand. Um, and I'm not sure, I need to be, have, oh, there, main was here. Um, maybe you'll understand this message, I don't know. So here's the, the message. Um, so it's this let binding has unit value thing. Um, and I'm assuming this is actually like hidden inside this macro somehow. And it's not really me, it's like, someone else um, uh, because there's obviously not a let anywhere here that I can see. Um, and there's a bunch of them. Um, basically any place where the, in any of these routing things, if the right hand side just has a single element inside the curly braces, it generates this warning. And uh, like I said, I did a little looking and I kind of think it's not us, that it's something inside of you. Uh, it's actually, in this case, this macro generates something that triggers this warning. Um, but I thought I would ask in case you looked at that with, oh, I totally know what that's about. Um, Cause I was like, yeah, I don't know. Um, so let me know if you have any thoughts. I don't think it's a huge deal. And obviously, one could always um, uh, just ignore those. Um, and I don't think it's because I have the whole world turned on. Um, because when it's when warnings happen because I have the whole universe turned on, it tells me, I thought, um... Maybe I'm wrong about that. I was thinking, oh yeah, it, uh, no. I was thinking it, it gave me some sort of suggestion as to why that was being included. Um, so maybe that is because I have the whole world turned on. I don't know. Um, but I can ignore it. It's not a big deal. But I was just curious because um, it was like, oh, I don't understand why that's happening Therefore, I don't know how to fix it. Okay, so on to the actual work of the day, of which there is plenty to be done. Um, oh, and hello, Gaffa. Nice to see you as well. Um, so the paginator used to have... Um, oops, I want to be down here. We used to have three um, bits of global state here. Um, the organization was global state, this page map was global state, and this state map, these names are not all great. I may want to try to make that name better, but um, I think we improved the page map name some last week or Tuesday. Um, these were all global state. On Tuesday, we changed this to be a property um, because the paginator totally depends on the organization and if the organization changes, you really basically just want a whole new paginator. It doesn't make sense to talk about the same paginator having different organizations. 
Uh, everything about the paginator depends on the organization that you've chosen to get the repositories from that you might want to archive. And so I think having that come in as a property is definitely the more coherent approach. Um, this next one, so that, that's this bit here. Um, this page map, whoa, um, this page map is really entirely local to the paginator. Um, it doesn't come in from the outside and it doesn't leave anywhere. Um, it's a map that maps from page numbers to the list of repositories on that page. And it's there so we don't have to load the same page more than once. If we go forward from page one to page seven, and then we back up to page four again, we don't want to reload page four. Presumably it hasn't changed. I mean, it could have, but if it changed, like the whole world probably changed um, and chaos will ensue. And I, I'm not sure how we deal with that. Um, if the organization changes while we're in the process of archiving the repositories, things are likely to be kind of chaotic, frankly. Um, and I don't know, short of downloading all the repositories once quick when you first specify the organization, which could be done, um, uh, but short of doing that, and even that, because you're going to have to load multiple pages, it's still possible that the organization can change while you're doing it. I think we'll just have to deal with the potential for some odd edge cases on that front. I don't think anything bad will happen. Presumably the worst that would happen is we might try to archive a repository that no longer exists or has already been archived, so we'll have to handle that error correctly. Or we'll miss a repository that got created while we were in the process of going through everything, in which case presumably the user will go back to the art to the organization um, on GitHub at some point and go, oh look, I for we missed that one. Well, that's weird. We'll fix that, and I think that'll be okay. Luckily, this is not a life and death app, so com total. Um, Provable correctness is probably not really an issue. But this map exists entirely inside the paginator. It doesn't come in from the outside. It doesn't go anywhere else. So it clearly should be local state to the repository paginator and not this global state using Udux's use store. So I want to change that um, to be local state. This might be really simple. Um, uh, so now I don't remember. Um, come back here. Uh, let's blow you two away. Uh, you state. Um, what's the use state? That's the hook I think we want. Um, oh, now we've, um, eh, where am I? Ah, the state, I just want an example. Oh, foo. Let's go back to, uh, homepage. And oh, have they actually released the new version? Mm, don't know, because uh, this has changed. But okay, uh, oh, this is silly. Get started. There we go. Concepts. Um, predefined hooks. There we go. State. Use state. That's what I wanted. 
So it's just U state and then the closure that gives us the initial state. That was a lot of faffing about. So maybe it's just a matter of saying U state here with the um, closure that gives us a new, um, oh, and this will not page map, page map, page repo map. Do I just have like a new? I don't remember if I have a new there. Oh, I appear to. Okay. That's all we need to do, maybe. No, I don't have a new there. La 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 la. Go to definition. Uh, page repo map. So we might as well add a new um, pub fn new return self. And we want a page repo map hash map new oh this would be self but it's still not happy missing field map oh I've got to say that name duh that was the issue okay so that, I think, takes care of that problem. And now we've got a grumpy thing over here. Oh, because everything that it referred to the um, dispatch, dispatch is going to be broken. Um, so we're going to have to chase those things down. Okay. <coughs> so... Um, we call dispatch here and that seems to be it so what how is that used in update state for organization um, so we had a page repo map here how is that actually used what do we call it page map dispatch actually if I select it it will highlight other instances right there So we get a new page and we add it to the page map. So we're going to need to get the state and reset that state. Um, okay. So um, uh, we want, this is just going to be the state, which is now just page map. Da -da -la 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 -la. Now that's going to give us a type error, I presume, here, because this is going to be wrong, because this is going to be a use state handle now. Ah, whoa. Um, use state handle. Uh, page repo map and we'll just call this page map let's change that name uh, just page map boop, boop, boop. and now this is going to be broken because this reduce doesn't exist because that reduce mute was a Udux thing. I don't think we have. Now we do have a re use reducer. Hmm. And we also have a use mute ref. I wonder if use reducer would be easier to work with. Um, are we doing complex actions on the said state? Not really. Um, 
Well, we have to impl reducible. Well, that doesn't seem like the way to go. And I assume this immutable reference. Oh. No, we do need the component to be re-rendered on state change. So we want use state. Okay. So we'll have to get the page map, add the page. Now, can we just do that? And current page repos result iter dot map r r dot id dot collect is that actually oops I guess we don't want that is that sufficient oh page map duh yeah No. So we're going to have to get the state out of the handle and update it. Yeah, poop. Um, so here we clone the state. Oh, but we can just say, oh, it's counter.set. So we have to set it to the new state. Page map dot set star page map dot add. So something more like that, I think, is probably where we're headed. And it's gonna be grumpy. Um It, what? Oh, this add page. Uh, yeah, I can't do this all inside here because this add page doesn't return something. And so the set is failing because there's nothing to return. So we're going to need to say something like let new page map be that and then set new page map there. And okay, so the top part's working. The this is grumpy because oh oh right, this still doesn't return anything. It's still a unit type. So actually, I'm gonna have to get this, then call add page. So I'm gonna have to give this a name call add page and then call set oh fine so this is going to need to be that and then that's going to have to be mute because we're about to change it uh, new page map we add that I guess we don't need the parens anymore and then we set it and we don't like this. Why do we not like this? Oh, because we probably have to clone it. Because we're going to move it into. What are we? No. Oh, that made a reference. Do we want? Do we want a reference? No, I feel like I've got deref before clone. And the DREF is 
is actually doing what the star was doing. So the star goes away. And that's just not finding that because we need to import deref. Okay. So we deref and then we clone. So the deref takes us out of the handle and then we clone, or yeah, the deref takes us out of the handle and then we clone what's left. And I'm just, because I want to make sure I understand the types here. Ah. Um, okay, so deref gives us a reference to a page repo map. So the handle, when we dereference it, we don't get, we don't take ownership of the map. We get a reference to it and we can clone that reference and that's cheap because we're not cloning the whole map. We're just cloning a reference to it. Although this now is a page repo map, so we own this, which implies the clone. So did the clone, the clone actually made a copy of the whole map there, didn't it? So it did make, yeah, we did copy the whole map when we did that. That just seems kind of gross. But there we are. Um, that seems to be working. And the other option would be, and we've discussed this ages ago, and I think Izitsu even found um, that this was listed as an anti-pattern, so we didn't go down this road, which would be to make the map an RC of, actually turn it into an RC wrapper around the map, so that when we are cloning it, we're actually just cloning the wrapper and um, there's really just one map instead of making lots of copies of the map. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's see if that actually does the thing. Uh, now, something doesn't compile. Oh, um, page uh, line 246 is grumpy. Uh, because we are passing the page map in here and I think that's an ownership problem. Yeah. And now does make button callback need the whole map or can it get away with just having the page that it cares about? Um, page map. checks to see if we've seen that page. Okay. And that's the only place that page map is used. So we could just pass in that instead of passing the whole page map in. might be better because we don't need to pass the whole page map if all we care about is whether we've seen this page. Um, so we could change this to page loaded being a boolean, which I kind of feel like would make more sense up here. Page loaded of this guy and then we don't need to have any of that and where do we use loaded right there page loaded pass page loaded 
and but it's not happy oh that's because it's called loaded instead of page loaded uh, so that all compiles now so where we called that is going to be broken it needs to be fixed 245 right here so here we could say page map dot has seen page current page minus one and then we'll have the same thing here page map dot has seen page current page plus one comma page map there and Now it's still grumpy because la 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 da 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 uh, so I think I need to clone something somewhere. Um, okay. I'm going to actually bring this over because I think this is easier to look at. Um, so page map we create the state here we move it into the closure on 222 and its use on 225 so this seems to be where i probably needed to have cloned something and then when we get down here it's been moved so we can't borrow it so 222 and 225 seem to be the thing to look for wah, wah, wah. So that's here and here. Aha. So we are moving the page map into update state. So that needs to be cloned. Let page map equals page map dot clone. And then a clone will move in. And that should make that problem go away. And it does. Yay. So now does this, and I think, really this probably ought to be, um, maybe here to go after the organization don't really remember what's in repository paginator state. I need to look at that. Um, okay, so does this actually run? That's a great question. Um, oh, trunk serve open would be useful. We'll find out. Probably have to wait for it to build a million things. Come on. You can do it, little computer. Okay. Boom. Whoa, there we go. Okay. So it just took a while. And next. Cool. And then this is review and submit. If we prev, we come back to the first page. And if we next, we go to the next page. Cool. So that actually looks like that part 
may be doing the right thing. And that's nifty. Um, and if we uh, go to a different organization, it died. Uh, I bet it threw an error and crashed. Oh, maybe it didn't. Maybe it's because... Yeah, no, something did die here. Let, let's reload. Boom. Oh, right. We still have that error where we've seen, we're loading pages twice. Um, <clears throat> so that's separate from the state problem, um, but it is going to have to get dealt with. But it may be making it so that we can't successfully go to a new organization. Oh, and we're not, we don't have all the state being updated correctly. So I suspect the page map may be updating um, correctly, fingers crossed. Um, but we're not printing that out. So let's assume that's good for now and um, press on. So I think we've basically dealt with this uh, issue. And now, oh, and we had an example of U state right here. And I didn't actually notice. Um, and now we want to deal with this guy here. So I think, so this state map, which is, it's not a great name. I think we need to change that name. Um, go to definition. So state map, it maps from a repository ID to a pair, which is the repository and the desired state. Um, and maybe desired state map is a better name. And it would fit with this. So maybe desired state map would be a better name here. I'm open to suggestions of somebody. I don't feel like naming is my strong suit. Um, okay, so if we do that, uh, and then we come back to the paginator. Okay, this is now desired state map. And I don't want, so here, this is getting a little, this one's more complicated. So the desired state map isn't entirely internal to the paginator because we need to pass it to the uh, review and submit component when we're done paging through the repositories in this organization. So it needs to be shared between those two components. Uh, but it also needs to be redone when the organization changes. If the organization changes, the state map has to be reset um, to be a totally new uh, thing. Um, so we could leave it as a piece of global state shared across those two components, but make sure we reset it somewhere. Um, and that reset could even happen at a higher level. It could happen here. We could have a use effect with depths where if the organization changes, we just reset 
the desired state map to be an empty map or we could go like to main and have a use effects with depths here that says that when the organization changes reset that um, but that then I don't think that makes sense because we don't want to bring it into this if it doesn't need to be there we this has to talk about it so this might be a reasonable place to use a global state and just make sure we reset it when we need to um, uh, so I don't know let's try that because uh, the other option well there are two other options I can think of. one is to actually make this an internal piece of internal state um, like I suggested um, here but then I think we have to copy the whole thing when we pass it so it this will have to emit that back up to main and main would then have to pass it down oh no sorry it wouldn't actually go through main it would be uh, when we go to review and submit here, this would need to become a link thing. We'd have to pass the argument to review and submit here. Um, and that could happen, but I think we'd end up copying the whole thing. The other option would be to use, use context tools, but that only works if review and submit is a child component of paginator and I don't think that makes a lot of sense in terms of the layout so I think I'm actually my to do notwithstanding I think I'm going to leave this as global state and we will have a use effect with depths that resets it um, so I'm going to actually put line here and say use effect with depths um, and we probably need to that to be in a scope so we can clone things but what we're headed for is something where we have a closure and another closure which I think I don't need at the moment but we'll see and then a oh no that's inside the other closure so I really only need the one closure wah, wah, wah. so that's the closure and then we need the tuple that is the things that we depend on and we depend on uh, organization and I think we don't need a tuple because there's just going to be the one of them and so then we'll need to clone organization let organization equals organization dot clone so that we have a copy and this is grumpy probably just because I haven't yeah I just don't have the right type um, so we will need to make that a thing so let's do that so move current no organization we don't really care about the value of the organization we just need to know that it changed um, and so here we have to set the state to be a new state so state map uh, dispatch dot 
Uh, I don't remember what dispatch. Why are we screaming at me here? Um, what if we? Okay, let's change this to do. And why is this yelling at me? We are all in the shouty lands. That's oh, it's a semicolon after that. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, I've clearly got I just got my syntax burfed here. Okay, so these match this goes to here. So we call update state for organization. So that's what we do. And we return this closure. And I guess maybe it's just unhappy. Oh, and oh, I needed a comma after that curly brace. Duh. Look, so much less red. Okay. Um, so that's better. Um, so now I ought to be able to have my um, state map dispatch. Dot. set and I want to set the value to be a desired state map colon new semicolon and I probably need to clone that dispatch maybe yes I need to clone that dispatch let state map dispatch equals state map dispatch dot clone. And now everything compiles. Okay. Um, so I think we've now said if the organization changes, then reset the state map dispatch to be a new desired state map. Um, and I think these names ought to change. Wah, wah, wah. Desired state map. It's getting kind of long, but and of course this didn't pick up the ch oh actually that didn't pick up the change either. That's interesting. Would have expected this one to have grabbed it. why it didn't sort of catch that but there we go uh, I didn't catch that here probably some other places that didn't catch 232 and 249 So I think that'll make everything compile again. All right, so we're saying the state map depends on the organization. And when the organization changes, the state map will reset. Okay. Now, and then we have an, 
internal state for the paginator. Um, which is just the current page, the last page, and whether the current page is loaded. And I wonder if we want loaded, because this duplicates information that's now in the page map. So I wonder if we actually want that. Uh, anymore. Because um, we've got two places that are in theory holding the same information and that's never great. Hmm. I'm going to make a note of it and not immediately stress it. Um, This duplicates information that's now in the page repo map. Uh, so maybe we want to remove it from the paginator state, question mark? Okay. And so we set the state to be, uh, oh no, that just gets the state out of it. Um, so that's like the let's up here. And then, here we have this big, I th so I think one of the mistakes that I made is I did this big update everywhere. Like, sorry, this updates a lot of stuff. Um, update state for organization. Uh, updates a lot of stuff. And also it implies that it only gets called when the organization changes, but it actually updates things when the current page changes and the loaded state changes. So there's a whole lot that's actually happening here. So it's not a great name anymore. It was an, it made sense when it was first written, but it doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. Um, and I'm going to pull a curtain here. I'm getting blinded. Okay. Whoops, no. My studio uh, is just a random room in the house. Um, and as the year has gone on, the lighting has changed considerably. Um, uh, and I don't have fancy studio lights. Uh, and so I don't really control the lighting very well. But you're mostly not here to look at my face, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, okay, so I feel like the, I feel like this update state for organization updates an awful lot of stuff. And I wonder if it needs to update everything at once. So let's think about our states here. Um, Organization is coming in from the outside, so we're, that will update itself. The page map needs to be updated when we change the page or we have gone to um, the, made an HTTP call and gotten a new page of stuff. Um, and uh, the desired state map needs to update when we click uh, checkboxes or it needs to be cleared. 
and this state needs to be changed when we click pages uh, and it needs to be updated when we change the um, well if we change the organization it needs to be reset but since it's internal state it should do that anyway if we change the organization um, otherwise it only needs to change when we change the pages or when this loaded state changes and that would be another argument for getting rid of it and ha using the the loaded state in page map instead because page map is already going to have to get updated when we go out and make an HTTP call um, and uh, this if we remove loaded here this does not have to be updated when we make HTTP calls um, it just needs to know what page we're on and what the last page is um, so it can do the build the little buttons at the bottom and then we could use the loaded information from page map up here and this wouldn't depend anymore on um, the uh, wouldn't depend anymore on the um, state of whether we've downloaded the um, that page or not so I think actually I'm gonna get rid of this Oh, you know what? We should have committed. I should have committed a while ago. I want to make a safety net here so when we make a disaster of things, we can get back to where we were. What have I done? Oh, I've renamed that. That should have been done. Uh, okay, that's a thing I can commit easily. Um, so add it, add new for page repo map. I don't think that needs any further discussion. That was a renaming. That's part of the same renaming. Uh, that is part of that, but has other things going on. And this is probably just that renaming. Okay. So let's do everybody that's just about the renaming. Uh, renaming, renaming, renaming. Uh, rename state map to desired state map and actually it probably suggests that there was some other renaming yeah like that should probably be desired state map now uh, uh, uh. <sighs> And there's probably references here that name is probably yeah that's a bad name uh, let's not sweat that right now I'll make a note there are variables that use this type whose names should also be changed in for example repository list.rs and review and submit.rs boom okay and so here the really should have committed earlier so the main thing we've done here is change page map to be an internal state um, 
but we also have done some other things that are a little going to get caught up in this and I'm not don't want to spend forever trying to like separate them out so we'll say make page map part of the internal state of the paginator page map is entirely local to the paginator and should not have been a global state using udux this makes that a local state using the state hook um, There are also some renaming changes and um, we modified. So that's just renaming. Uh, I think that's all. That's all renaming. Yeah, it was this. Um, and we changed the prev and next for review callbacks. So they sent just the loaded, oh, that the has seen. instead of the whole page map. Um, to make button callback. Boom. Okay. Back to here. Okay. So, so I think I want to get rid of loaded here. So let's do that. That's going to now blow some stuff up, which will tell us where this gets used. Oh, and we need to redefine the state to not have loaded anymore. So that probably would have been the first change to make. Um, now 107. So that goes away. And 171, actually 170 now, that goes away. And 219, which is, looks to be the only place we actually ever used it. Actually, we didn't even use it there. We're just extracting it. Did we never actually use the thing? Um, and then here, this is saying this, oh, this is the whole update state for organization business. So we're gonna have to figure out what to do about that. So that at the moment we could say pay map dot has seen page current page I think might do the same thing um, and then 277 and I will have we'll come back to this because I think this is maybe all messed up anyway but here's where we actually use it. So we need ha, um, but actually his has seen page.
maps from page number to a VAC. So actually, we don't know if we've loaded it or not. Oh, yeah, we do. Because we wouldn't put it in until we've loaded it. So has seen page is, is actually doing two things. It's saying whether we've seen the page already or if we're waiting to see the page, but it hasn't finished loading. So it won't have the key until the loading is actually done. So we could use has seen page as, so, so really have, has loaded page would be a better name. Um, rename symbol has loaded page. And now we could change this to be page map dot has loaded page. Um, current page. And now we've got a problem. Oh, we got a problem up here about borrowing stuff. Uh, so this clone moved into here, but we need it also here. So if we just say let has loaded page has loaded current page to be page map dot has loaded page current page and we could just use has loaded current page here I think that will resolve our ownership issue because we won't be referring to yes okay so everything compiles Yay, things compile which again is actually sort of meaningful in rust okay so so i think this is the piece we got to like think about a little bit um, when okay, but we don't actually want to depend on this here. We want to update the state when either the organization changes or the current page changes. We don't need to update the state when the organization changes anymore because everything is dealing with that problem. Because with the organization changes, we ought to get a new page repo map because that's internal state, we uh, reset the desired state map if the organization changes. So I don't think it's the organization changing that really matters here. I think what matters is if we change the page. And I think that's all that matters. And we shouldn't even depend on loaded. And we don't use loaded anywhere. 
So I don't think, um, although we need that to switch from loading, from the loading state to the loaded state. I guess we do have to do a redraw, but maybe that's a separate dependency. Maybe there should be one dependency when we change the page and another dependency when we change the has loaded current page thingy. Um, but if we... So if we change the page, if we go from three to four, we want to redraw. And if we assume things are slow, we're going to redraw and it'd be in the loading, but not yet loaded state. Then when we have finished loading, then we want to redraw. So we could think of those as two separate dependencies. One, a dependency on current state, and another on has loaded. The has loaded. My worry is that we could end up redrawing twice because um, if we separate those dependencies, we go to three to four, we also go from loaded to loading, presuming we already loaded three. And so we would end up updating the state twice, once because of the page change and once because the loaded state has changed. Keeping them together means we have a single update if either or both of them change. Which might be better if we're careful about what we do. But I keep feeling like I'm not talking well, sorry. That makes for a very bad video. Um, I feel like, yeah, it is a deep side. Um, I feel like somehow we ought to just be able to do something simple. If, if the loaded state goes from loading no, loaded to loading, we want to redraw things. If it goes from loading, sorry, if it goes from loaded to loading, we, yeah, no, we redraw something either way. So maybe we could just make those two separate things. Um, if we, But we, we probably don't want to redraw. Yeah, we probably don't want to redraw if the has current loaded current page is false because we that means we're, we're on a new page and we would have already redrawn. So maybe we could do two use effect with depths, separate out the current page and the has loaded and just be careful about um, when we 
redraw when the has loaded changes. Yeah, maybe that's a thing. Let's try it. Um, so I'm going to actually try getting rid of this. So this is only going to depend on. Oh, this is interesting. So you feel that a struct component here would be clearer and easier to understand what's going on. Now, that's an interesting question. And I, to be honest with you, just kind of skipped the whole struct component idea um, because, I don't know why, because I like the word function because function makes me happy. Um, and um, it, um, it seemed like that was where they were headed, sort of downstream, that that was sort of the new cool thing that people were using. Um, so I really jumped over struct components. Um, but I do agree that here, like for example, separating the view and the creation might be kind of nice. Um, uh, now, let's go care oh this is where we send messages to things this would be a pretty significant change refs what are refs um oh to get the dom element that we're attached to probably don't need that Um, yeah, so this has more explicit, like, DOM manipulation, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, so we create, we view, rendered, is called, once view has been called, and you has rendered the results of the DOM, but before the browser refreshed the page, update. Um, so we could pass messages in to update and then so then we'd be able to say things like change the organization would be a message and change the page would be a message and um uh yeah and is it loaded could you know would be a message so we could handle different messages as a way of dealing with that. Um, yeah, so that was my read as well, is that the U maintainers, and I feel like this is this seems to be true to some degree in um, the React space as well, is that like the the direction people are going is more toward functional components rather than structural components. Um, and I have so little experience in all of this that I am in no position to make suggestions about what's better or why. I just sort of observed that the velocity, the trend seemed to be in a particular direction. So I was like, oh, follow the trend. Um, uh, but you're, you might be right. Maybe an, uh, a struct thing and maybe the update stuff would be easier to deal with here. Um, I think for the moment, I'm gonna um, continue to see if I can make it work with the use effect with depths stuff, um, but we might need to be aware that that might not be a great plan. So I'm gonna put it to do. Um, would all be easier 
if we um, used a structural component here uh, with messages for the various updates instead of having multiple views effect with depths calls. So that's certainly a possibility um, and one that I think is worth keeping in mind. Um, uh, but I'll, 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 I'll see if I can make this work and then we'll if it just seems to be the pain is too great, then uh, maybe we'll come back. Um, so here um, we're now, okay, we don't have this anymore. We just have current page. And We don't need this, as it said. Um, so this name should probably now be something like switch to new page. Um, or load new page yeah load new page might be nice because um, that's really what this is saying to do um, so we're gonna clone it's gonna need the organization because that's how it builds the URL to go make the request state map dispatch it needs that so that's actually the desired state map um, yeah so that name probably ought to be changed rename symbol boom oh now for whatever reason it doesn't uh, ah. You get into closures and stuff and it doesn't know. Oh, I guess because of move, it doesn't know that that's, that this name is the same as that name because the move may, and the closure creates a new scope and it's the move that moves this across and so it gets confused about whether these things are related. So we'll have, so we need the desired state map. Why do we need that? That is the desired state map is the list of the mapping from IDs to repositories and states. Why? And we need that because when we get a new page, we'll have to add the default values um, for all the repositories there. Page map we need, because we need to add this new page to that. Current page we need, because we need that's part of the URL request, um, and it'll be a key for page map. And repository paginator state, <coughs> we need that's the local state for the paginator and we need to update that. Do we need to update that? Um, yes, sort of. Yeah, I mean, we need to update current page and we need to set last page when we can. Um, that's a little weird so current page here 
is in the repository paginator state. And this is saying, if, we, if we're updating this here, this is saying we're, that it kind of depends on itself. That's not great. Um, so <coughs> we have the current page in the state. We get the current page out of the state here. And then we're saying indirectly, because this updates the repository paginator state inside of its inside of load new page. This says that we will update repository paginator state when current page changes. But, oh, but the thing we would update here wouldn't be the current state, it would be last page. So we would update last page, so that would change the paginator state, but it would not change the current page, so that shouldn't lead to some kind of infinite loop here, I think. That seems ugly to me. I'm not sure I see a better way off the top of my head, but it smells off. But that's why we have to pass this in, because we might want to update the last page element of it. Okay, so I think these arguments all make sense to me. <clears throat> now let's go find the definition and read through it, because I think that's a place where we might need to make some changes. And this, is, this, this method's a mess. It's long, and I confuse it. it it can it deserves some refactoring in particular all this <coughs> HTTP stuff really ought to be <coughs> often a service somewhere I think um, I don't think it belongs in here um, but we'll let it go for now um, the the sort of um, fancy blog you example actually has uh, some kind of nice things where they, um, I think they use try from to convert from essentially from URLs to data structures. And those have, those build and make the request and deal with the error handling um, in kind of a nice way. And I could imagine stealing some of that code. Oh, hello. Thanks for joining. Um, Anxious dev, um, uh, aren't we all anxious developers? Well, if we're developers, we're probably anxious. I'll give you that part. Um, <clears throat> and so I think there's some ideas there that could be lifted. I'm not going to sweat it right now. Um, and <clears throat> I think we'll uh, just sort of leave this a bit of a a mess and try to do some housekeeping when I think it actually works. Um, and then I feel like I understand the structure I want. Um, okay, so we get the organization because we need that for building the URL. And then we're going to spawn. Ah, so yeah, so this is part of the deal. We're going to spawn this local and uh, that's going to do an async um, grab of the uh, page. Now, there is a thing in you called, I think it's use async. Um, you use async. You hooks. Um, uh, and use async that we could be using here where I feel like maybe that would be an alternative 
to this explicit use of spawn local um, so that this we pass this an async move and this takes an async move um, and so I think that could be an alternative approach um, to and then you would call this dot run to cause one of these to actually get triggered so they don't actually when you create them they don't run where a spawn local goes immediately um, the use asyncs don't actually fire until you call dot run on them which means you can construct them in one place and then trigger them somewhere else um, I'm not gonna mess with that at the moment but actually I will make a to do this codes like 60% to do's by weight um, possibly change spawn local to use async so the that sort of fancy example of you um, they use you use async a lot um, uh, so that seems to be kind of their preferred approach um, so again probably be useful but i think it would require some non-trivial changes to the code here so i don't want to get bogged down in that right now so we spawn a local and we do all of this stuff sort of at some point downstream um so we build the request url um and i don't think anything there needs to change we get the response um, there's some definitely some error handling issues that need to happen like right now we just assume everything works um, and we unwrap a bunch of stuff probably ought to do something a little nicer than that but for now um, and then we get oh yeah so this is where we do all the stuff about um, computing the last page number and so we get the last page really all of this ought to be in its own function somewhere um uh because it clutters up the world um and then we parse our response which takes forever because our json is huge and that I think is a GraphQL problem to solve another day. <sighs> then we start updating things. So we update the archive state map, which is actually now the desired state map. So I should change that name. Um, so this is the desired state map dispatch, right? Um, so this would be desired state map dispatch boom and so we're saying that the we're going to reduce mute uh, and this is now the desired state map rename desired state map Uh, and so we add the set of repositories that we got back to the desired state map. So this does the job of adding those. So that means we've now used this argument and we've used this argument. So we have page map and we've used current page. So we have page map and state to deal with. Um, and so here we do page map. So we make an, oh, so that, that, that I did just a little bit ago. So we should be good there. And then here we make a new state with the current page and the new last page. And we set that state. So that actually looks plausible. Um, and then, so that would be the dependency that 
is based on current chain, current page. Now I think at this, if we just run this, I think that we will find that we'll never go from loading to low dead because we'll, current page will change, we'll trigger the call, but nothing will say re-render when we've actually gotten the results. And so I think that, that we will um, go from, we'll never go from loading to load ed. That's my guess. Oops, 3601, S20. And so we're gonna need another use effects with depths. Oh, I lie. Why did you rewrite? Really? Okay. Oh, that blew up the world. And that's because we tried loading a page that we'd already seen. So that tells us we need a check in Wah, wah, wah. in load new page here if we have oh so really if we've already seen the page we shouldn't bother doing all this stuff um, so really this would be only if uh, we have not already seen the page would we bother doing all of these things so if um, page map dot has loaded page current page and actually I guess it's if not then we would want to do this move um, right yeah and then this whole move moves in one yeah so oh I didn't like that at all Oh, because this is supposed to take a closure here. And I think it isn't. Yeah, yeah. So I can't put the if out there. I have to put the if inside here. And then move you guys out one. And move you in one. No, you needed to be. Yeah, no, that's right. Oh no, that needs to be there. And I think that goes there. There we go. Uh, so if it's loaded, why is that? Oh. We need an actual U size, so we need to star that. Um, in fact, we could save ourselves two stars by saying let current page equals star current page. And then we could nuke that and that. Yeah. Okay. Now, it says that on 102, we have an unused variable. Oh, that's interesting. Is that always unused? I don't think so. Oh, I bet it was. Because it was probably added into the um, repository state. 
No, actually, I don't know what the deal was. Oh yeah, so it was we were setting a new repository state, um, and yeah, so that almost certainly doesn't need to be there because we don't use that anymore, and that's going to cause some compile errors because wherever that got called is now passing something it doesn't need to. So two sixty. So, fingers crossed. And I saw some red go by here. Did it go away? Looks like it did. Okay, so are we all compiled? Yes. UMM CSI 3601 S20 go. So I still don't understand why that redraws. Um, and I think we want to understand why that, well, I want to understand why that redraws. So we'll have to come back to that. But that part does seem to be working. Now that that, yeah, that did go back to page one. And that went to page two. So this is properly switching pages. Oh, like this might actually be right or working. Maybe working is a better name. Um, Now, if I change the organization, does this work? This is 20, so go to 22. Oop, nope. Um, so we tried looking for something that didn't exist. So we're not clearing something correctly when we go to a new organization. Um, so we change the current state map. That's good. Um, but we have a list of IDs. So I think this has got IDs in it that it shouldn't have. So I think that's why that blows up. But first I want to try to understand why this redraws when we change, when we finish loading. So where's load, here's load new page. So load new page, changes, Oh, it changes the, dis no, hang on. So that's a global state, the page map, it changes the page map and the page map is local state. And so anytime local state changes, it's going to redraw. And so because loading updates the page map, that changes one of the pieces of local state and that causes it to re-render. I bet that's what's happening. And so I thought I was going to have to force that to happen, but in fact I don't because indirectly we change the current page, that triggers a call to this, which triggers this spawn local, which, alt which if it's a new page, and we shouldn't call this unless it is a new page, um, causes the um, page map to update. So we go to loading first, and then when this spawn local finishes, that will have updated the page map, 
that triggers a redraw and we go from the loading to the low dead state. Well, that's actually rather nifty. I think that's quite cool. Um, do I believe that? I think I do. I think I believe that that's the truth or a good, a reasonable approximation of it. So we're going to get loading. Yeah, we see loading and then it finishes. So it did first go to loading and then when the loading, it fit, so here, if we watch, it should say loading first, did, and then it loaded. So when we change the page, it went to loading because um, uh, has loaded was false. Page two wasn't there yet. Um, and then once it was there, it, it gets there because this spawn local finishes and that changes the page map, which caught forces a redraw because that's internal state to the component and it does the right thing. Well, that is super nifty. I'm really happy about that. Well, yay, a thing. A thing, a thing, a thing. And I think the dependencies here are less gross than they used to be. Um, and I think it's it cleaned up some what we're depending on and in what way. Um, this is still a very long list of arguments. Oh, I guess these guys all need to shift out. Boom. Um, that is a really long list of arguments. Um, and I'm not thrilled about that. And I think there's probably some refactoring to be done there. But um, I think it's better than it was before. Um, and I think all of that does need to be passed in to load new page. Um, so, eh, you know. I don't think it's crazy bad. Um, so I'm going to commit. We still have an error that needs to be resolved. We've got 20 minutes, but I'm going to make a commit here. What happened here? Oh, we renamed that. Okay. Um, rename has seen page to has loaded page. Um, uh, the has seen page. Ah, I should probably. Where are we in? Page repo map method is really returning true if we've loaded the page already <coughs> uh, so this changes the name to better reflect that <coughs> and then <coughs> uh, A bunch of renaming, which isn't very interesting. We removed it, removed loaded from the repo state. Well, I thought I'd already done that, but apparently not. That's part of this. Okay. Um, so, actually, so really what we did is we removed the dependency on loaded in um, load new page. So we remove the so dependency on loaded for load new page. Um, <coughs> so yada 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 yada. So this is actually the important part. So um, the use effect with depths used to depend on loaded 
and current page um, but the dependency dependency on loaded was unnecessary and I think causing problems with double loading of pages uh, uh, see double downloading of pages from github wah, wah, wah. this removes that dependency to, sorry microphone's in the way dependency <coughs> um, and somewhat simplifies uh, well I don't think that's really true um, and then I also want to say something about the um, we also added um, an if test so that we only load the current page if we haven't already done so um, and I don't know whether having the if test here or putting it inside of load new page well no I think that it should be here because if the page has not been loaded then you want to load a new page I think that logic makes sense. So, um, so I think we're good there. And that was just cleaning up some dependencies unloaded, and boom, awesome. That makes me happy. Now it's quarter till, and we have another error, right? When we switch organizations, it doesn't work. because something isn't being cleared out properly. Yep. So it looks like this we're in repo list with these IDs, this probably should be empty and it's not. So what is that? We're in repo list. We're in repo list. Oh. Oh, that's actually in the repo list component, I bet. So repo list is being handed here. So it's getting past this, which makes me think page map didn't get reset properly. But I thought page map Well, no, this desired state map. We don't actually print page map anywhere. It doesn't look like when we start a new thing. Um, so it seems like page map isn't getting, oops, where, where, oh, sorry. I'm scrolling terribly and that's making you all dizzy. Um, so page map isn't getting reset. Does state not reset automatically when your properties change? I thought it did. Um, web sys console log one. So what, there was a better way to do this. It was like glue something. console. Oh, maybe it's just that. Um, uh, uh, 
in paginator with page map. Does that work? No. Um, let's log. Oh, console log bang. Duh. And now I think this is a problem. Yeah, so we need to have. We have the dot into thing. Oh, so we do have to have the format? I thought you have to avoid that. Fine, fine, fine. And it doesn't like that. Oh, page map doesn't implement debug. Well, let's go fix that. Derive deep. No, ah, syntax. Okay. Oh, that doesn't go there. That's just up here. Duh. Happy about. Oh, really? <gasps> Glue console. So that's two colons. So here, I think this is an example. Of using it log okay so it's just format bang and we don't need any of the stuff okay so let's go there so start with adding that and then we'll go find where our disaster is which is right here. So then this is just log bang and format bang. And in fact, we can just put page map here, skip that whole business, skip that, and fingers crossed that will do a thing. Hey, here we go. Okay. Wait till it finishes compiling. Yes, is it too? You were completely correct. <clears throat> um, you were faster than I was on that. Um, as always. Uh, I'm making progress, but I'm still, there's still much room to grow. Okay, now, oh, um, where's impaginator with page map? Yep, page map's got all kinds of stuff in it. It should not have all kinds of stuff in it. It should be empty. So it's not being cleared. So we must have to do that ourselves? That is annoying. I would have thought that we could have avoided that. So we set the desired state map to be empty when the organization changes. So there's no reason we can't uh, set the page map.
Now we're going to have to have cloned that. I bet we're going to get an ownership. Shouty bet. Or, yeah. Indeed, we do get an ownership. Shouty bet. Um, page map. Let page map equals page map dot clone. And that I think will be happy. Yep. And so now, hopefully, it will reset the page map when we change the organization, and we won't get that error, he says, optimistically. La, 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 la. Boom. Now, if we change that to 22... Well, that's interesting. So it didn't break, but it didn't work. So it didn't call. Um, it didn't load. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't look like it ever loaded. It didn't even call the load which smells like um, that my if statement so page map has loaded page but we should have reset the page map so that but I don't know the order in which things are going to happen here um, it's not clear to me that these use effect with depths I assume they're probably potentially asynchronous and under the covers and maybe we did this one and then we did the other one and so the other one didn't change the state, but we could make it change the state. Maybe we should. Maybe, I wonder if, um, so the state probably ought to be up here anyway. Maybe. So, now just out of curiosity, I wonder if that changed anything. I don't think it should have changed anything. We're recompiling still. Come on, you can do it. Go, little computer. I'm curious if that ordering might have had some impact on the world. No, okay. That was what I expected, but... Um, so we could change the state here to set the last page back to zero. Um, state, and state's a bad name now because we've got two pieces of state the page map and this state thing. Um, and so that should be current page is one and last page is zero. So I think that'll probably send it back to um, well, I don't know. Because if current page was already one, that's the only thing that's going to cause that to change. 
Hmm, I bet that doesn't work. Actually, we're still compiling. La 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 la. Whoa! Hey, I had a boo boo. Um, two sixteen state set. Uh, sure. We need to. Uh, it's the repository paginator state, and I'm going to need to clone it anyway. And we're going to have to have clone that also. Gonna be better. Do, 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 do. Looks like it is. Compiley, compiley, compiley. There we go. Boom. So I don't think this will work. Did not. Because. There's nothing here that would cause this reload to happen. So we could, if it depends on the organization and the current page, But then are we going to load twice? So if either the organization changes or the current page changes, then we need to load a new page. Well, that logically makes sense. So maybe that's okay. Wah, wah, wah. You're finished compiling. UMM CSI 3601 S20. Okay. S22. No, it did not work. Set, I have to change it. Deal with the curtain again. Come here. No, stop it. Hello. There we go. Couldn't see my own screen. Um, why did you not load? I would have thought that now we depend on the organization and the current page. The organization changed. Why did that not trigger a load new page? Hmm. Unless the page map somehow is stopping it, but that doesn't seem likely. Um, log bang, uh, format bang in Say or 
organization equals organization and current page equals current page um, blog bang format bang um, current page page has loaded equals um, page map that has load page uh, current page okay compile 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 doodly 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 do UMC side 3601 S20 go that works S22 go organization is S22 and current page is one yeah oh mm. current page loaded is true and it really should be false. So I think you, oh, no, oh, yeah. So somehow, oh. yeah, so this is happening before. So actually it's the same problem that we had before. I don't know the order of events here. I want this to go first, but they're either happening uh, at the same time, asynchronously, or equivalently, this is happening first. And that's the problem. Um, well, that's annoying. So this... Um, This kind of smells like, so you think the page map should be a dependency. So if the page map changes, then we redraw. So I buy that, but it still smells off to me. I mean, I feel like we ought to, and maybe, maybe what this is really saying is that you're right, is that struct components are the way to go because then maybe we'd have better control over the sequence of things that the use effect with depths doesn't let us sequence things the way that we want. Um, do I have two lines here? I do. Um, but let's, we can try that. So um, in fact, instead of organization, maybe what we want is page map here um, because if organization changes page map will change up here and that would trigger the call the change here um, and so this would be page map And now that we have an ownership problem, right? Uh, oh no, it's just a reference problem. So I need to deref.
bad news. Oh, no, no, that, oh, that took me out of the, uh, that took me out of the state handle. Do I just star this? Or just underscore that. Nope, didn't like that. Ah, but now we've got clone that I understand. So we need Oh, so you were thinking a clone here would have solved that problem. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's the thing to do. Page, map. Because I have to clone somewhere anyway. Um, yeah, I think that was a good choice. Good job. Thank you. Um, so we compile. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, oh, it's 10 minutes after 12. I didn't even realize. We should wrap this up. Maybe this will work. And then we could end on a high note. That would be exciting. Please work. UMM, CSI, 36.1, S22. Oops, not S200. That'd be bad. S20. Not that it matters. Okay. Now S22. Hey! That worked. Can we go to the next page? Yes. We go to the previous page. Yes. And can we go back to S20? Yes. And to the next page. Yes. I think we may have resolved the state issues. Go team! I'm so happy. I mean, I think that this means that ignoring the ugly layout and stuff here, we are in a position where on Tuesday we really ought to try setting up the little server thing on Cloudflare and having this button actually go through and try to archive things. That would be kind of terrifying. Um, so, I mean, the, the user interface is a bit of a mess, but, um, well, actually, the I think the interface is fine from a functional standpoint. It isn't pretty. Um, and, and needs to be cleaned up. But um, I think that like structurally, it seems to be working and that actually trying to archive some things would be a reasonable next step. Oh, I'm so excited. After how many, um, this is the 21st episode of working on this project. Um, to actually have it where I think it actually does the right thing is super exciting. So I'm very thrilled. This is super neat. Um, thank you again all for your help and for uh, joining me today. I appreciate you spending the two hours. Um, I'll let you go here and then I'll commit and, and push. Um, I'll be back at two, which is in an hour and 45 minutes at the moment. Uh, to work on the segmented file ser server systems lab um, where we're getting a whole a flood of UDP packets, parsing them, organizing and sorting them, and then writing their contents out in, as files. And we are at a point where we've got, the, we're pa parsing the packets, I think, correctly, and we can download all the packets. So we now need to basically do some data structure stuff to um, organize the packets into their appropriate um, buckets, um, sort them, 
and write them out to files, which might not take too long depending on how lost I get. Um, so I'm guessing at most two more sessions to finish that uh, project up, fingers crossed. So that'll be this afternoon in just an hour and 45 minutes. And then Tuesday, oh, go away. Um, Tuesday will be um, uh, Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. my time. Um, we'll be, uh, we'll return to Ice Repos, this project, um, and hopefully work on actually trying to archive some things. Wow, that would be weird. Uh, and then um, uh, Wednesday night will be Evolution Computation. Um, and uh, I think we're kind of in a happy place on the Lexicase selection there. And so it's a matter of um, actually may need to, I think the next thing is probably go over to the closure code. So Wednesday night next week might be more closure than Rust and finish up the closure uh, part of the implementation of the simple GA so that we can actually then do timing comparisons between the Rust and the closure um, uh, on Lexicase alone, just calling Lexicase selection and benchmarking a, a single call to it. Rust is running about a thousand times faster um, than Lexicase. Uh, the enclosure, um, like literally a thousand, not like some figurative, like it's a lot faster. No, it's literally a factor of about a thousand uh, fold improvement on Rust. And that's pretty crazy. Um, I have no idea if that will carry forward as we build out more complicated evolution computation systems. Um, but, uh, and there's some places where dynamic dispatch uh, might come up and that'll probably slow the rust down and make it because I bet there's a lot of dynamic dispatch in the closure code so that would sort of probably narrow the gap a little bit um, but still I mean we might easily be looking at a hundred times improvement in rust and that would be pretty awesome actually because um, the current setup um, the research group that I'm part of We've actually there's been some fussing recently because runs are taking a single run of a thousand individuals for 300 generations is taking on the order of single digit days, one to three days for one run of a comp really of a very complicated problem. So, um, and so a factor of a hundred there would you know get us from days to minutes. Uh, and that would be pretty cool to get from days to minutes. Um, could really make a difference to how people do work in this space. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. So you're all awesome human beings. Thank you so much for being here and giving me your time. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to stop here and let you folks go, and I shall talk to you later. Ciao!